close. Watch out. Are you looking for something? A cap? I can't, I can't lose it. I don't know anything. Give me back Cappy Cap. <laughs> Is this the cap you're looking for? My brother's Cappy Cap. Give me, give me, give me. Right there. What are you doing here? Another Fatus? We can ask you the same question. What are you doing here? <laughs> Protect Cappy Cap. My brother will get mad at me. Forget the Cap. It's your brother we're looking for. What happened to him? Nothing. He has a fever. He's just a little delirious. That's all. I don't have to tell you anything. Go bother someone else. This island belongs to our friend. You better watch what you say, mister. What? I thought this island was uninhabited. That's why we came here to... Um, never mind. Fine. I'll tell you, but then you need to leave me alone. It's a new kind of energy generator that I invented. We were simply looking for a deserted island to test it out on. There. Satisfied? Don't do as you're told. We'll, uh... Oh, we'll take his cap! Oh, please don't! <laughs> hey, stop crying! All right, I promise we'll stay within this area. Okay? Uh, by the way, um, why is there smoke coming out of your machine? <sighs> because the cursed thing is broken. As much as I hate to say it, our tests did not go to plan. We were getting ready to leave anyway. Oh, well, just see yourselves out whenever you're ready. Bye. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. Paimon can't believe we have to deal with the Fatui during our vacation. Why would the Fatui appear in such an isolated corner of the world? Whatever their reasons, it's likely more complicated than we might think. Even though we're on vacation, we should stay vigilant. Also, in the interests of keeping the ladies in good spirits, I have a suggestion. Let's keep this between us for now. Let them enjoy their vacation while the Traveler and I deal with any potential threats. What do you think? You're so considerate, Kazuha. Paimon, you flatter me. I simply don't think it's worth ruining anyone's vacation over a trivial matter like this. The scenery is beautiful. I hope all of us can enjoy ourselves here. Traveler, Paimon, who do you think the real swimming champion is? Me <laughs> oh, 
will utter my supreme name and see how Lady Magistus, the presumptuous, is reduced to bitter tears. Oh, no, you don't. Don't put this on Paimon. Oh, wise Paimon. Surely you can discern who the true winner is. Lady Paimon, the time to show your loyalty is nigh. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't Paimon get some food in her first? Poor thing looks starving after such a long trek out. Oh, thank you, Xinyan. Yes, we did walk quite a long way. Right? While you were off doing your own things, I caught us some seafood and picked us a few fruits. They taste real good barbecued. Now that you mention it, I'm getting a little peckish myself. <sighs> I too. Well, there's plenty to go around, so dig in. I can't say I've got the culinary skills of my chef friend, but I promise you'll at least eat your fill. Mm, time to eat! Inviting Lady Shinyan here was an astute decision indeed. Paimon's done talking! You guys carry on if you want to go hungry! Oh, I love that barbecue smell! Impressive. Since Shinyan made dinner for us, allow me to take charge of breakfast tomorrow. Paimon, too! Oh, oh, Traveler, you forgot about something. Uh, let's talk over there. So if there's any intel floating around, he'll definitely know about it. who can contact me on this thing. How come you're sneezing? I'm at the cat's tail. Ugh, so many cats. They, they gave me some allergy medicine, but it's not working. Okay, go on then. What are you calling about? Could you be any lazier? All right, well, Fenty, there's some strange things going on on this island. We ran into the Fatui. Ugh, the Fatui? Yeah, they're everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> Ugh, the Cryo Archon's minions are a capable crew. I'd be more surprised if they hadn't shown up yet. But they're ruining our vacation! Really? But, uh, <clears throat> you sound fine. They can't have caused you too much trouble, surely. Or... Uh, if, if they did, I'm sure you have everything under control by now. Yeah, but something just doesn't feel right. That's why we came to you. Don't you have any information for us? Mm, I haven't heard anything new about the Fatui. <laughs> but uh, don't worry. I may be a lowly tone-deaf bard, but you may contact me whenever you need me. I mean, I can't promise I'll be of much help, but uh, at least you'll have someone to talk to, right? Oh, honestly. Adventuring is what you do best. 
It's only natural to encounter a few surprises when you head somewhere new, but just remember, not all unexpected encounters are dangerous. The same wind graces the seaside as that which wafts over pastures green. Whenever you see clouds, it was the wind that carried them there. Don't worry, my friends. The wind will always be with you. Okay, then. I have to go now. My performance in the cat's tail is starting any second. <laughs> okay, bye. So, he means we don't need to worry too much about the Fatui, right? Well, if that's what the tone deaf bard says, then fingers crossed we'll have a peaceful and relaxing vacation where when you go off on a long trip with your friends, the important thing is to have fun. <laughs> few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you?
This is a day in the life of the Traveler. <laughs> I'm learning more about you all the time. <laughs> 